Presenting yourself professionally for this interview will show that one, you don't only respect yourself, but you also respect the interviewer, you respect the job that you are applying for, and overall, it's an opportunity for you to present a reputation that can match your paper. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Wanjiro Karaoke and I create content in regards to personal branding, professional and business etiquette, image management and any other topic that will help you become a confident person. Now, if you're a returning subscriber, guys, I want to appreciate you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. I don't take it for granted. Thank you for finding it meaningful to always come back to my channel and listen to what I have to tell you now. If you haven't subscribed, please do so hit the subscribe button and uh, also hit the notification bell so that you can always be notified of any video that I'm going to put out there. Thank you guys so much and without talking too much let's get into our video for today. As you have seen from the title our topic for today will be focusing on the most inappropriate, the unsuitable, the most distasteful outfits that you should not wear for an interview. As we all know an interview is a space where you need to prove to the interviewer that you're actually qualified for that job. It's an opportunity for you to earn that job that you have been eyeing. It's an opportunity for you to get that dream job that you have been dreaming about and for this case you need to present yourself in a way that shows that you are actually qualified for that position. The intention during an interview is for you to leave a lasting impression. These people have already been impressed by your qualifications. You've sent those qualifications and they clearly show that you know your credentials are okay, your skills are alright, your expertise is good. But now what is remaining is for you to leave a lasting impression. It's for them to see how you present yourself. It's for them to see how you express yourself for you to earn that particular job. Job. The interviewer actually wants to meet the face behind the papers. They want to meet this person behind the beautiful papers. And the only way you can present yourself in a way that shows that you're qualified is you preparing for this interview, is you appearing in a manner that shows that you're professional. Presenting yourself professionally for this interview will show that one, you don't only respect yourself, but you also respect the interviewer, you respect the job that you're applying for, and overall, it's an opportunity for you to present a reputation that can match your paper. It's a chance for you to show that you can be trusted with that job, your expertise and also your skills. So you can't afford to appear in a way that is discrediting you. You can't appear in a way that is showing like you don't deserve that job. You really need to be intentional about applying a lot of effort in the way you appear during this interview because it could be the only chance you have for you to get that job. So let's get into the most inappropriate outfits that you don't need to wear for that interview. The first outfit that you should not wear, the first outfit that you should never set foot with in an interview is ripped jeans. Guys, unless you're attending an audition where they have specified you need to wear this kind of jeans, you should never ever wear ripped jeans or distressed jeans in an interview. This is because once they expose your body, you don't want to show up in an interview room exposing your thighs, exposing your legs. No, we don't need that. It's so distasteful it's so disrespectful and that is the last thing that you need to wear and it's not only about a dis even a normal jeans unless maybe the interviewer has requested that maybe you dress in a smart casual way or in a jeans you should never appear in a jeans or a distressed jeans in that case for an interview this is because it shows that you don't respect those who are interviewing you it shows that you don't respect yourself or even the job that you're trying to get so one thing that you should not wear is a distressed jeans now as an alternative you can look for an official uh, black trouser you can look for an official trouser something that is made of cotton you can look for a trouser that is fitting instead of you opting for a distressed or a ragged jeans you can opt for a formal trouser before I forget there's a video I did about outfits that you can wear for an interview I think you can refer to that video and it will give you more ideas of what you can wear it will give you more ideas of what you can replace with these ragged jeans but for a ragged jeans guys that is one outfit 
that you should never be seen with in any interview room all right the other inappropriate outfit that you should not wear for an interview is strapless tops and vests yes these ones when it comes to you attending an interview just leave them at home wait until the weekend and then you can rock them but for this important day where you need to leave a lasting impression a vest or a strapless top will not do that for you you need to dress decently and in any case you choose that you're going to wear a strapless top ensure that you have a blazer on ensure that you have a cover-up ensure that you have something covering your hands because we're not trying to show off how we have toned arms we're not trying to show off how we have you know good skin on our arms that is not the intention at that particular time all the focus is on you presenting yourself in a respectable way and I feel that this is a day to keep it all covered and wear decently you can go for official or formal shirts formal tops something that is covering you up but for the strapless and the vest tops those ones you should forget them when you're appearing for an interview right. another outfit that is considered very inappropriate during an interview is short dresses short skirts and when I talk about short dresses and skirts there's short that is appropriate and there's short that is not appropriate when I talk about short that is appropriate anything that is hitting just right around your knee area or slightly above the knees or slightly below the knees that is appropriate but anything that is going beyond your thighs ah uh -uh, that's a no no for you when you're attending an interview you should not wear anything that is that short because we don't want to be walking around in an interview room wearing something very short I feel that that is a way of you not respecting the people who are interviewing you so remember that your interviewer could be a man your interviewer could be somebody who's older than you these people deserve your respect and the only way you can respect them is dressing appropriately stop dressing in very short outfits stop showing your body so when you're appearing for an interview this is a chance for you to dress decently those short dresses those short skirts please leave them at home for the weekend please leave them at home for any casual occasion but for this particular day this day that you really need this job then dress decently find something that is knee length or even beyond this is the day you dress modestly it shows that you're going to be respecting the people you're going to be working with it shows that you respect yourself it shows that you mind other people so for the short dresses for the shortcuts we are going to pardon them at this particular point when we are attending interviews and we are going to opt for something more decent something more presentable something that will earn us that job that we applied for now on that note of short dresses let's also focus on transparent dresses let's focus on transparent outfits this is another inappropriate this is another unsuitable distasteful outfit that you should not show up for an interview with remember when you wear anything that is transparent outright it's showing your body it's outlining your body it's showing how your body parts are and this is not what we want to expose ladies this is not what we want to showcase we want to show that we can dress in a decent way and at this point I'm wondering which type of interview could be asking you to wear transparent clothes of course none now for this particular reason you need to dress in a way that is decent don't wear clothes that are transparent uh, clothes that are showing your panty lines bra lines anything that is not supposed to be showcased stop wearing transparent outfits stop wearing transparent tops transparent trousers wear something that is heavy wear something that has a fabric that is very decent remember that any outfit that is transparent any outfit that is revealing could be sending the wrong message could be sending the wrong impression people will not view you in a respectful way people will not respect you for wearing such clothes and especially when it comes to an interview you need to present yourself in a modest way in a respectful way in a way that shows you respect yourself you respect those interviewing you and you also respect the job that you're yet to get so ladies this is not a time to shine with our transparent clothes but this is a time for us to wear according to how we wish to be addressed during that interview and also beyond so let's strive to be decent let's strive to be modest let's strive to portray a positive image during that interview and also beyond on the same point about the inappropriate clothes that we should not wear now guys I know by the time you're looking for this job probably you 
you're broke probably you don't even have money to invest in the proper outfit but you should really try not to show up with anything that is faded anything that is torn anything that is worn out anything that is old anything that is not ironed please 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 i'm begging you don't show up for an interview with sat if it means you're borrowing an outfit for you to present yourself in a presentable way then please go ahead and do it if it means borrowing for you to show up for that interview in a presentable way please go ahead and do it but don't show up for an interview with anything that is torn a shirt that has a torn collar a shirt that has a worn out elbows a trouser that is torn or even a worn out faded outfits dirty outfits please this is not the time to do that guys this is the time to try your best so that you can appear presentable so that you can appear in a way when this interviewer sees you they will know that you put effort in dressing up and in that case they can even entrust you with that job whatever it means for you to show up in a presentable way please do it is it borrowing is it just buying for that particular interview please uh, try your best i always say that you don't need to break a bank for you to appear presentable and true to that there are shirts which are as cheap as 200 shillings there are trousers that are as cheap as 300 shillings you can borrow just to attend that interview you never know whether this interview is the one that is going to open for you financial doors you need to strive to leave a lasting impression during an interview so anything that is torn anything that is discolored anything that is faded anything that is worn out please leave them at home this is not the day to wear them all right and this also applies to your shoes don't show up with the torn shoes and polished shoes shoes that have scarred heels no 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 please invest in a pair of good shoes which you can attend an interview with this is the day you need to pay attention to the shoes that you're going to show up with appear presentable and your image should match your papers not the other way around we all know for any outfit to be complete you need to do so by wearing the right pair of shoe for you to cement that entire look for you to cement that entire outfit you need to wear the most appropriate shoe for that outfit and this brings us to some of the inappropriate shoes some of the distasteful shoes that you should not wear during an interview when it comes to shoes you know that the number one quality you need to consider is how comfortable this shoe is because if a shoe is not comfortable then you're not going to walk properly you're going to walk unstably and you're going to fall when you're walking a shoe is not going to be comfortable if it's extremely high and what i'm saying is that we should avoid very high shoes like those shoes that are six inches and above those shoes that are extremely high you should avoid them because you will not walk comfortably during that interview especially if you don't know how to walk comfortably with heels these are shoes that are going to make you have a funny walking style these are shoes that are going to make you look very uncomfortable and overall you won't be confident during that interview so you should consider comfort comfortable shoes shoes that are not too high shoes that are at least three to four inches long i believe that that's a comfortable shoe instead of choosing very high shoes keep them for the weekend keep them for parties keep them for your casual dates but during an interview consider a comfortable low heel shoes again when it comes to the color of shoes that you'll be wearing during an interview i would love to recommend that you should stay away from very bold colored like you know shoes with patterns shoes that are screaming shoes that have very you know bold and strong colors avoid those shoes and you can always opt for a black a gray a brown or even a nude shoe for your interview because these are neutral colored shoes and they are shoes that are going to go with any outfit during this time when you're attending an interview so stay away from uh, strongly colored shoes when attending an interview now let's talk about the kind of makeup during an interview guys you need to be intentional about the kind of makeup you're supposed to apply or you're supposed to have during an interview because one thing about makeup is that it can upgrade you or it can make you look cheap and it can leave you looking like a clown so it's up to you to choose whether you want to attend an interview looking like a clown because the wrong kind of makeup can cost you that job when it comes to interviews please don't overdo it like too much makeup is too much this is not the time for you to do those dramatic looks this is not the time for those evening dark makeup looks no this is a time for you to appear as natural as possible 
possible minimal is always the best just go for a natural looking lip color uh, just maybe do your brows a bit a bit of foundation for the sweat and you're done because you don't need to overdo when it comes to makeup again when i say minimal makeup i don't mean that you should show up looking shabby with dry lips with uh, very unkept eyebrows and uh, a sweaty face no 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 that's not what i mean i mean that you should have makeup but it should be so subtle when it comes to makeup just do minimal makeup now guys before i even proceed i would like to put a disclaimer out there you might experience some difference in quality between this time i'm talking now and what i'd previously posted this is because uh, i was filming and the kids came out of school they started making a lot of noise and there was a lot of background noise so i could not proceed i had to stop and now i came hours later when everybody seems to be asleep when the estate is quiet and here i am to continue so a small disclaimer that is now let's proceed uh, with uh, our topic for today when it comes to accessories that are inappropriate during an interview and when i talk about accessories i mean your jewelries i mean uh, anything that you're adding onto your outfit or onto your look so that it can accentuate or make you look better as i'm talking about hats i'm talking about uh, neck necklaces earrings i'm talking about your hairstyle i'm talking about nails anything that you add onto yourself so that you can accentuate yourself to appear more appealing or just upgrade your look from an ordinary or basic look to something more appealing now when it comes to all those accessories i always say that we should go for minimal accessories just like the makeup we need to be going for accessories that are minimal when it comes to our jewelry that is our earrings let's go for small very subtle earrings we can do gold earrings we can do silver earrings we can make them small so that when we go for that interview they're not distracting or they're not the center of attraction they need to be minimal in such a way that they're just accentuating that look they're just making you look more appealing they're just making you look more upgrading without cheapening your entire look remember that when you do a lot of accessories when you put on a lot of accessories you actually look a bit cheap you actually look like you're not put together you need to have minimal accessories when it comes to an interview you're not supposed to go with things like hats you're not supposed to go with nails that are too long you're not supposed to go with you know those gigantic earrings sunglasses unless they're professional spectacles unless they're medicated spectacles then avoid anything on your eyes when it comes to your hair ladies this is not the time to go with your red hair here like this one of mine i don't think i can attend an interview with it what i would do probably is put on a wig like a bob wig or a very simple wig to attend with for the interview but i cannot show up the way i'm looking right now uh, i know you've allowed me to appear this way because hey i'm a teacher to you <laughs> i'm teaching you these things but when it comes to you attending an interview avoid shouting hairstyles avoid dramatic hairstyles avoid colored wigs you know i'm talking the likes of red pink blue don't show up for an interview unless it's an audition and they specified you need these things then if it's a normal interview then you're not supposed to be going with such things so you need to be very careful about the accessories that you're putting because you need to look serious during an interview you don't need to look like a clown so when it comes to accessories little is enough minimal is enough go as simple as possible go with a few accessories go with quality accessories and go with accessories that will not draw attention to you uh, in a negative way rather they'll accentuate your look rather they'll you know improve or upgrade level you up when you're appearing for that interview guys we come to the end of our video today and thank you so much for listening to me up to this time i really appreciate now if you've watched this video until this time and you haven't subscribed what are you doing please go and hit the subscribe button subscribe to this channel and also hit the notification button so that you can always be notified of other videos that i'll be posting in future now for this video if you have any comment if there's something that you appreciate about it don't forget to comment about it on the comment section please don't forget to like also when you like my videos it makes youtube push my videos to more people so for that reason please like my videos and also share to somebody who might benefit from them and until next time god bless you thank you so much for coming here until next time